This video is brought to you today by NordVPN. Guys, I have been using NordVPN for the past three years because it allows me to safely browse the internet without being traced. If you're a sports fan, or if you like to stream when you're traveling, like say you're in a foreign country where maybe the stream's restricted, NordVPN's military-grade encryption will hide your location, it encrypts all the data that you send or receive so no one will ever know your browsing history or access your personal info. Our good friends at Nord are celebrating their eighth birthday. Happy birthday, guys. And they've got a special offer for you. Buy NordVPN's three-year plan. Depending on your luck, you're either going to be gifted one month, one year, two years, or three years for free on top of the three-year plan that you're buying. So go to NordVPN dot org slash sunnen or use my coupon code sunnen to get this special deal well 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 it looks like the tito alberto del rio fight is been changed to a no decision now i must tell you I have the foggiest idea what's going on here. As a matter of fact, if there's anything to bring to you, it's that in the first time of athletic commissions reversing a decision and launching an investigation, they are refusing to say why they've reversed the decision, what they're looking into, and what it is that they're investigating. Generally, you have a tremendous level of transparency. You have transparency because these are not businesses. These are funded by taxpayers, and where the taxpayer dollar go is going is something that they have to reveal. So the mere fact that they didn't reveal in large part is the bigger story and possibly the only story. Let's look at what we know. And then we'll have some fun and speculate, but let's look at what we know. We know that as of right now, Tito's submission victory over Alberto Del Rito is officially being called a no decision. Now that's interesting because if you're going to speculate and try to have some fun and just try to guess with your friends what's actually going on here as the Texas Athletic Commission keeps us in this world of limbo, it's not a disqualification. That's interesting. They're not trying to disqualify Tito. They're not trying to no contest this whole event. Now, whenever Alberto Del Rio comes to the table, it is very fair to guess that there's going to be a work happening here. I mean, after all, this is a professional wrestler. So if you just want to have uh, fun and speculate that these two cooperated with one, one another and through the fight, I think you have a little bit of a problem with the evidence that we do have, which is that it's being called a no decision, not a no contest. And largely it appears that it's something on Tito's side because a no decision would take away from Tito. It wouldn't take away from Del Rio. That would help Del Rio or whatever, almost like it never happened. Didn't lose, didn't tap to Tito. Tito is then going to have a victory that comes down. So it appears that there's something afoot on Tito's side of it, based on the very limited information that we have. Now, I like to go to the kids on the underground forum. And on the underground, they had largely speculated that this was a drug test failure by Tito or perhaps a drug test failure by Tito. I'm not seeing any evidence of that. In fact, I'm seeing evidence to the contrary. And I'll only tell you what that is, which is this fight off of my recollection, but took place back in November for a very sophisticated test, take like USADA level, that could take up to 30 days to get back. And if something was to come back, they might have it in 18 to 21 days, but if something was to come back that was irregular, they would then go test what's called the B sample, and they could have both those, A sample and B sample, done back and be very close to a resolution, if not at minimum, a red flag. Within 30 days. That's for a sophisticated, that's for an USADA level sophisticated test. For a state commission test, which is far less sophisticated, you're looking at a lot closer to 72 hours. And at a snail's pace, you're looking at one week. So if you had to go test a B sampler or something along these lines, you're talking about another three days. And at a snail's pace, a week. This fight was way back in November. So I, I really don't think that there's any evidence, and I don't even think there's a fairness to speculate at this point that Tito did anything wrong in terms of a drug test. I think that my previous, perhaps, speculation of Alberto Del Rio and Tito going out there and doing a work, I don't think that's got really any legs either. If you go watch that fight, that looked like a straight-up shoot to me. 
really did. I would think I have a trained eye on that. I would think you guys have a trained eye on that. None of us have ever called foul ball on what we saw there. We saw two competitors go out, compete. Unified rules were followed. Fair fight. I mean, in all, in all truth, we saw a fair fight, didn't we? In addition to that, if those guys did have a level of cooperation and went out there and just did such a good job that they fooled us and we all become marks, okay. But that would then affect Del Rio. That would be both guys' licenses are pulled, not just the guy that went over and the guy that went under. Both licenses pulled. A no contest, a disqualification. This is being called a no decision. No decision in large part is a very new term for me. I've heard of no content, a no decision. A decision is not reached. We are not deciding that this guy won or this guy lost or both guys are disqualified. And if this was a worked match, which it did not appear to be, if it were a worked match, that would affect both guys, not just be on Tito's side. And some other guys on the underground have said something half as in. Uh, eloquent and nowhere near as intelligent as what I just said, but they did bring up the time and they were right to do so. And other guys pushed back and go, well, you know, there's A samples and there's B samples and there's different interpretation and different tests and maybe it didn't get cleared up and this is being fought out with the doctors. And I hear you on all of that, but November of 2019 versus damn near March of 2020, no way, no way. There's no dispute. There's no back and forth. And that still wouldn't equal a no decision. That would be a straight up disqualification. That would be a win for Alberto Del Rito or a no contest at best based on the intricacies of the administrative rules of that jurisdiction. Without further research, I just couldn't cite for you off the top of my head what that is. So I am left mainly just to bring you the topic that we're going to have some fun with this because something is going to happen. The information is going to come out, but reserve judgment in all fairness, just reserve judgment because there's nothing more damaging or painful than speculation. And if something does come back that kind of just appears to be off and we're going to call it a no decision and nobody's license is even violated here and there's no fines, no, no suspensions, then I think that we're probably all going to learn something. It's largely going to be something a little bit light. And it is in many ways surprising that the Texas Athletic Commission is still looking into such a small event, such a small event from the end of last year. I think they get credit for that. I think think the Texas Athletic Commission has been under a little bit of fire as of late. But the fact that they're showing such a respect to a contest that happened in their jurisdiction, even if it was a contest that nobody watched, wanted to see, or cared about, but it still happened in their jurisdiction, props to them for looking in for it.